welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna do my April favorites for you. And I liked a whole lot of stuff this month. Last month, I didn't even do a favorites video. Sometimes I just go through months where I just don't really feel like wearing much makeup and March was one of them. I'm gonna start off with something that I just reviewed on this channel. I will link the full review down below and you can go check that out if you're interested. It is the Pixi Flawless Beauty Primer. I actually bought this product a super, super long time ago. Like I'm talking, potentially over a year. Sometimes it will take me a long time to grow into liking a product. I'm not really sure what possessed me to start using it again, but I did and I'm so glad that I did because it is such a nice product. I wouldn't say it's the most fantastic primer in the world when it comes to longevity, but I will say that if you put this on under your makeup, you're going to get that like amazing glow that I personally am always looking for. And again, if you want an in-depth review of this product, I will link my video down below. So go check that out after this video if you like. Next is this bronzer from Victoria's Secret in the shade Sunlit. I, if you can't tell, am really pale and basically bronzers show up really intensely on me. Since we're just coming out of fall and winter, I have almost no color in my skin. I'm to the point right now where it's like vampire status. So I need something a little bit lighter as we're building up to summer and this is the perfect product. I can build it as much as I want it's glowy and luminous. If you have darker skin than me, I would go up a shade or maybe they even have three. I'm not sure, I think they have two shades because this is even pale for me. I'm pretty sure this was part of their three for 15 deal that they have at Victoria's Secret. Like when you're going up to the line, they have all that beauty stuff so you can buy it before you leave the store. Gets me every time, every time. I really do think that Victoria's Secret has some really nice beauty products. So if you have a chance, definitely go check out one of these Victoria's Secret bronzers. Next is something I picked up at Ulta a little while ago, and it is the Too Faced Boudoir Eyes Palette. I don't really know why this caught my eyes. I'm not like a huge eyeshadow wearer, and I already have bought enough eyeshadow this year to last me a lifetime, go figure. It's basically got all the perfect colors to do some pretty neutral looks, and that's really all I ever do. It's also got this little booklet which tells you how to do a day look, a classic look, and a fashion look. I've been using a lot of satin sheets and birthday suit. It's just a really user-friendly palette. This is something great if you're kind of just getting into makeup or you don't have a lot of time in the morning, or whatever, these colors are so pretty. Next, I have an Urban Decay 24-7 Glide-On Eyeliner Pencil. This is in the color Asphyxia, which the name is not my favorite. That's kind of, I don't know. Um, anyway, the color is amazing. I don't normally wear colors on my eyes, but when I saw this, since I am such a huge fan of the color purple in any way it comes my way, I don't know, I just impulse bought this and I honestly didn't think that I was gonna love it, but I've been using it almost every day. This is seriously so flattering and I have blue eyes. It definitely brings out the color. I think it'd look gorgeous on any color eyes though. I love the way it catches the light. It has almost like really fine blue glitter in it. So this has been a nice little catalyst into the world of colorful eye makeup. If you don't wash your makeup off with something that really kicks some butt, it's not coming off. You will probably have to use eye makeup remover. Which brings me to my next favorite of April, and that is this Clinique Take the Day Off. I got this for Christmas as a gift, and I really, really wanted it, but when I used it, I thought it was like causing my skin to break out a little or something. It wasn't like a breakout, but it was definitely different than the normal status of my skin. So I completely stopped using this. The other day I had quite a bit of makeup on and I just needed something to get it off quick because it was really late and I wanted to go to sleep. So I just pulled this out of my cabinet and what you're supposed to do is put it on dry to your makeup, like apply it in little circular motions 
get into your eyes and make them all raccoon-like. You know the drill. And then you put warm water on, it kind of turns like a milky color, and whoa, all your makeup totally comes off. It's pretty spectacular, actually. It also has not caused me any skin issues, so I'm gonna chalk my initial skin issues up to the holidays. Being really stressed out and eating really poorly, that's, that's pretty logical if you ask me because this stuff is my new absolute favorite. Next, I have two really similar lip products, so sorry, I just really like them. I really love wearing coral lipstick, especially in the spring and summer. So today, my first favorite lipstick is from Chanel, and it is called Le Clétante. Okay, first of all, let me tell you a little backstory on why this looks so messed up. It broke, which really, really does not please me because, dude, Chanel is so expensive. I do not want it breaking. I actually melted it together with a lighter because I keep it classy. But anyway, this color is probably my favorite Chanel color ever. This is the absolute perfect neon coral if you're into corals like I am. It's oh so summery. It really brightens up your makeup and it's such a nice formula. I strongly prefer matte lipsticks to like glossy looking ones. If you want to splurge on something and you want to have a naughty purchase time, go for the Chanel Matte Lipsticks. Next I have the MAC Viva Glam Nikki. The Nikki Minaj color is definitely more on the neon pink side. It's a little more sheer, it's less matte, and it's just like more kind of bubble gummy. That's a word now. It's such a fun color though. I think wearing coral colors on your lips pulls together this very, very polished spring-summer look. I have been wearing one of these lipsticks every single day this month. My next favorite is this Nitamins Cream from Origins. This is a product that I used to use a couple of years ago, and at the time, I don't remember being that into it, but this month I got this. This is a really fantastic night cream. It makes my skin feel really hydrated and very, very calmed down. It smells kind of vaguely of oranges and vitamins. Go figure, nitamins. I don't know, that's what I think it smells like. I actually find the smell very pleasant though, so don't let that turn you off. I got this as a freebie because I bought another product, but I'm pretty sure they're just selling me smaller ones right now, so you can give it a go. After I use this up, I will 100% be repurchasing this because what I like about Origins is that the ingredients are a bit more conscious than other brands, and I, I guess I just really like Origins. Okay, now for some non-beauty favorites. My first non-beauty favorite is a TV show that I am in love with. Have you guys ever watched my Mad Fat Diary? Because you should go watch it. It is amazing. If you don't live in England, you will have to ferret it out on the interwebs. It's not on television in the US, so you'll have to scroll around the internets and find it. You know what I mean? The show is amazing because part of the time I'm almost in tears with laughter. Another part of the time it's very deep and heartfelt and deals with very real issues that I find to be relatable. It's about a girl named Ray who struggles with a lot of issues. In the beginning of the show, she is very depressed. It's not just all candy coated and fluffy like so many other shows are. This is just a look into the diary basically of a 16 year old girl who's dealing with boys and school and her weight and confidence and it's just a wonderful wonderful show. I can't even say enough about it. Also, there's a boy in it named Nico Miralegro who is a total babe, so there's that. Sold. Next, I have been obsessed with this phone case that I just got. It's from the company Zero Gravity. It's called the Andromeda Hologram Case. It's silver and reflects in a rainbowy fashion and I do not know who could not like this case. Also, the case is made really nicely. It's thick on the back, so if you drop it, I dropped it. 
it's totally fine. All right, guys, so that is it for my April favorites. And if you want to subscribe, I have a lot of plans for some really great videos. So if you want to be a part of that, I would be so happy to have you. I really appreciate you guys being here with me, and I hope you're having a great week. So I will see you in the next video. Bye. Hey guys, so today I'm gonna to talk to you about something that's become one of my absolute favorite products. I'm talking about the Pixi Flawless Beauty Primer. So this is something that I have had for a very long time and I've liked it on and off for a lot of years, but recently I just started using it religiously. This stuff is amazing.